they say are polygamous in nature, and women they say cheats because of greed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Femme's Court. I'm your favorite girl, Edobong Alfred. And for those of us that are joining us for the first time, this show is your go-to place for gossips, trending issues, real life matters, and of course, societal problems. I'm actually elated, I'm so excited about today's episode because we have new ladies in the building. Mm. <laughs> so, sitting beside me is Sophia. Sophia, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. You're beautiful. Aww, I love you. your black. <laughs> thank you. Okay, and sitting beside Sophie is, we all know her already, Kosi. Kosi, the historian. Give it up for Kosi. <laughs> Okay, and sitting beside Kosi is, we all know this popular saying where they say, the more you look, the less you see. Hey, <laughs> I'm talking about not other than Ngozi. Ngozi, you're welcome to the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay. And sitting beside me is Georgina. Georgina, you're welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I love your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. So, Today's topic will be centered on baby mamas. Mm -hmm. I'm excited as you are. So we'll be talking about why people need to stop having baby mamas. We'll go on a quick break right now. And when we return, the show continues. <laughs> Welcome back. We all know that there is a high rate of that there's an increase in, in um, baby mamas, there's an influx of baby mamas trending from the celebrities to the normal, regular Nigerians. So yeah. I would love to hand over this discussion to our ladies. Ladies, what's, what's your view on baby mama? What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. So I would love to start with Georgina. Georgina, what's your view on baby mama? How okay. do you see it? Do you have plans on being one? <laughs> no, hell no. I don't okay. want to be a baby mama. Why would I want to be a baby mama? Uh, For goodness sake. Okay. I mean, why would anybody want to be a baby mama? But anyway, okay. who is a baby mama? Well, we're talking about baby mama, baby mama, baby mama. So mm -hmm. who is a baby mama? Well, a baby mama is a person who gets pregnant, has a child, but doesn't have a husband. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So now, um, the problem with this issue of baby mama is this. When you become a baby mama, it means you end up becoming a single mother. Right yeah, now, when you become a single mama, mother, it's not easy for you to raise that child alone because, mm -hmm. truthfully, raising a child requires a lot. It mm -hmm. requires a moral, emotional, financial, and uh, you know, a psychological support and everything. Mm -hmm. And let's let's be honest, we need the father figure. Definitely, Definitely. father figure. We need the father figure. So mm -hmm. when a woman says, "I want to do now," there are many reasons why a lot of women have come up to say, "I want, I want to be a baby mama." For some, it's um, out of mistake. You know, for some, it's because I, I just love the celebrity lifestyle. I, I want to be out there. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. imagine uh -huh. if I am married. Sorry, imagine if I get, I beg your pardon, if I get married to, I'm sorry, I get pregnant for, say, um, Bonner Boy. Okay. Okay. I love your dude. <laughs> okay, I love Bonner your boy. So, Okay. <laughs> she went, she actually went to the top person you uh, understand to oh. the giant of the giant of you she didn't she didn't even go <laughs> she didn't even go to bed no 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 let's not make sure they're exactly you know. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the dream for some other women who want to be okay. baby mamas right okay. now especially for gen z uh -huh. you know mm -hmm. they say i want to be i love the celebrity lifestyle but then there's uh, there's something wrong with their thinking because they don't know that they can actually be celebrities without actually having to be baby mamas you can right. be a celebrity without being a baby mama. Absolutely. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so God has taken the time to create you and has deposited so many important things out of you that if only you would sit down and ask him to reveal it to you and you put it out there, trust me, you don't need Bonner Boy. You don't need any celebrity mm -hmm. to be popular. So why choose to reduce yourself to become a baby mama? So honestly, it is wrong. And then there, exactly. are, some, there are some women who just choose to. I don't want the responsibility that comes with being a wife. You know, I just want to have a child i just want to get engaged in sex. we have a child and 
take care of them by myself. I don't. So I'm just giving you the many various reasons mm -hmm. as to why yeah. many women have decided to go into the baby mama mm -hmm. industry. industry. I, I want to call it an it's industry, an industry. <laughs> because it's now an industry, given that it's a trend. So yeah. yes. So um, if you were to ask me. Like you said initially, do I want to be? My, I don't want to be, and I'm not going to advise anyone Anybody. to go into it because it is slowly eating deep into our culture, and culture is very important to development. Honestly, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so if our kids are not well taken care of, if our children, who are the future leaders of tomorrow, yeah. you know, are not being properly brought up with the right moral and financial support and emotional mm -hmm. that they need, because mm -hmm. you are a single mother or you choose to be a single father, mm -hmm. you know, in this case, baby papas. So, of course, if that were the case, which yeah. it shouldn't be, it's going to, it's affecting us. And it's, in fact, like becoming a trend, it's, it's scary. I mean, where do we see Nigeria in the next 10, 20 years? If all we are, if everyone is gradually digressing, not digressing, moving forward towards the baby mama industry. I mean, it's scary. Mm -hmm. So Okay, okay. That's my point on that. I like the fact that she said, the baby mama industry it now looks like <laughs> it now looks like it's a form of business where oh, people you know enter enter just to get famous or get money and all whatnot so i would love to ask sophie sophie do you think that most people venture into this thing just to get money what's your view on it well i won't i won't say that people venture into the baby mama thing to get money because we have to take into context those people that become baby mama by mistake. By mistake? Yes. By mistake, what could what could have been done to avoid that mistake? <laughs> protection. Handle. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let's okay. look at it this way. Okay. Sometimes you can use protection and something, something can happen. And then what is the something, you, something? You, you end up <laughs> you pregnant. To, you want to know that something, something. What is the something, something that can happen? It's, it's not 100%. You are not... Guaranteed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So most people, mm -hmm. they go into this baby mama thing by mistake. It's not like they intentionally they planned. Intentionally. It's not like a child growing up and exactly. saying, when I grow up, when I become this age, I want to be a baby mama. I want yeah. to have a child out exactly. of wedlock because that is what is called. Because now, if you look at the society in recent times, we are okay. trying to look at this thing like, oh, oh, it's something to be proud of. Even on TikTok, you see videos with women. There's one video I saw recently that I actually frowned at. It was a young child. She was pregnant. I think that girl would not be up to 17 years old. Wow. She was with her pregnant stomach, and she was doing the video. She was actually trying to showcase the pregnancy. She was <laughs> dancing, that, everything. And then she captioned it, um, my mates are going to school, but it's Belen that hungry me, that kind of thing. <laughs> Can you imagine? And it's obvious that she's not married. It's so obvious that our culture, our society is trying to accept this as something to... Normal. Something normal, something to glorify, not yeah. even just normal alone. Mm -hmm. It's something you should be proud of. If you are pregnant, mm -hmm. if you are not married, you are pregnant, you should be proud of it, which is very, very wrong. As Georgina earlier stated, that our, our, our children mm -hmm. exactly. are the leaders of tomorrow. Of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's important we show them good example. What do we see? What do they see? What do we set as an example? Baby mama is not our culture. Yes, if they accept it over it's there, not. it's okay for them. But yeah, it's not our culture. Yeah. Exactly. Our culture is get married to a man, do your wedding, your church marriage. You can do your court marriage, but do your church marriage, do your traditional marriage. Mm -hmm. If you're a Muslim, you can do your, your own style of marriage. But mm -hmm. baby mama is not, not our, our culture. culture. So it okay. shouldn't be accepted into our culture. Okay. We shouldn't adopt it. It shouldn't be something that should be looked, that should be glorified in our that society. Be glorified. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, Sophie, <laughs> for that. Ngozi, the, the more you look, the less you see. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> What's your view on it, please? Actually, <clears throat> the issue of baby mama, mm -hmm. most ladies, they are willing, like, they are willing to be a baby mama. They are sweat mm -hmm. off. They want to be famous. They want to be known. Okay. That's why most of them venture into, like earlier she said, is a kind of, I see it's now an industry where you go in there, get pregnant, you mm -hmm. have your own kid. At the end of the day, you become a baby mama. Yeah. So my view on that is that most ladies, they are just there just to be famous. They just want to get fame. Just to get famous? Yeah. Okay. That's oh, okay. Okay. That's your view on is that they yeah. that they just want to get famous. Yes. Exactly. To be known. To be known. Okay. Based on what you said, Kosi, please, what um 
what's your view on baby mama first of all and what advice would you give ladies out there that wants to be famous what other ways could they what other businesses what other industries could they venture into that would make make them famous okay, than baby firstly, mama? okay well um firstly, i mean a fast industry that would make them famous <laughs> Firstly, this issue of being famous, <laughs> yeah, are they, um, some people venture into it just for them to become famous. I still disagree. Okay. To me, I still disagree. Why? Because um, we are more we are conversant with these ones because um, they are famous. Yeah. There are a lot of people out there that it wasn't their intention to become a baby mama. Yes. You understand? They actually wanted wanted to get married to this guy. Settle down, have kids like normal parents do, normal home do, like normal African home. But it just happened. Like um, this person, uh, so Sophia said, it just happened. You understand? So looking at it, most of them, they don't, they don't choose to become a baby mama. They don't choose to become baby So, mama. and it's just few of them that wants to be famous. That if you want to be linked to. Like the case of um, this uh, trending, this thing, Anita Brown. She even openly said that. Mm -hmm. She she said she's a fornicator, but she's not an uh, adulterer. <laughs> that she didn't know that. <laughs> that's what she said. That she, that she didn't know that David Doe is a celebrity. Yeah, uh, no, not a celebrity. He's, he's married. married, he's married person, you understand? Married. That, yeah. It's not as if she wants to get married to David Doe. But she just wants to. She, it just happened. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. that assuming she knew that David was married, she, she wouldn't have had something to do with David and all that. Mm -hmm. But looking at her own, you will say yes, she just wanted that fame. Because she's, yeah. she's a porn star. A popular porn star. You can't take a, away that fact from her. That's, yeah. what, that's her life. That's and her she's life. proud of it. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. this type of person now just wanted fame. Clouds, like you just clouds. She know. just wanted to be well known. Well known yeah. Because even and when that. people are saying, um, even when people are saying um, that this and this thing, some, of, some people that are based outside, or based in America, they okay. said they don't even know her. But with this thing, they were able to get to know her. I did not even understand. know her either. Me, I don't <laughs> even know. So <laughs> it just that came out says, from nowhere. So, the so that she said she, isn't, she wasn't aware that David Doe is married. married. It's so hard to believe. I mean, everybody knows that he's married. It's you know, this, no, this, no, 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 you won't say it like that. No, because you won't say it like that. I think you have to believe. You know, no, 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 no. If you remember, if you remember her marriage, no, David Doe's marriage was very private. It was very private. And if you check his page, there was nothing about the marriage. There was nothing about the marriage. There was nothing about the marriage. A celebrity that everyone knows. But not everyone knows that he man, is married. No. He doesn't even like the, the marriage, the whole picture. It was after one week of their marriage that it came out openly. That was even when um was this um Kemi somebody that that lady that always dragged him. Kemi uh, okay, that, that was when she came yeah. out and was like that they just did this so they will be able to they don't can claim the right yeah. over his son, you understand? Mm -hmm. So I if you look at it, you know that it was a low key something. So yeah. he has saying claiming that she doesn't know is justified. Yes, it's justified. It's justified. justified. So to me, I feel so. Um, um, still on the question. Mm -hmm. So my thought or uh, my take yeah, on this on it, yeah. baby mama is that, mm -hmm. like I said, most people they don't want to become baby mamas. You understand? Mm -hmm. It just happened. Yeah. But I feel if you know you don't want to become baby mamas, baby mama. If you want, to, if you don't want to become a baby mama, just don't. Venture okay. into don't make sure you use condom, like Sasha said. Yeah, don't condom do doesn't <laughs> doesn't do it. Yeah. Then is that a celibacy? Celibacy. And there are other options too. You can <laughs> also take other pills options too. No, that's you. That's 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 you see pills. It's not safe. What? No, no, they, no way. What it has effects? Side effects. Because it, it can make your menses. It will stop running the way. Wait, no way. At times it will even stop. Wait, can I? Okay, wait. Speak up, my love. Tell okay, us. See. We don't actually understand that we can actually go to our gynecologist. You can go to a doctor and talk to him. This is what I want to do at this period. I don't want to have a child, but I'm sexually active. Let's just be free and open to say all these things. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. be free. Let's don't be shy. Family mm -hmm. planning. Yes. I get that. Okay. okay. You can seek for it. And they will check you, test you, and give you a the method right. that is good for you. Which which will be what? It's not pills. Going it's still pills. Oh, there maybe, are, no, there are a lot of methods. There are a lot of methods. There are a lot of methods. You don't really need maybe. to take pills. 
There are At times, of inserts. Methods. Doing inserts. Yeah. Inserts. Inserts. There are a lot of methods. Instead you don't of, really need to. Yeah, instead of all this stress. All of this stress. Why not ask the man, the partner, to go and take those, um, you know, pills or all of this. <laughs> no, you know, have now. I mean, so that. <laughs> Because avoid, because avoid the side effect. I mean, you you don't have to be the only one taking the pills. I mean, you don't you don't have to be the one but sacrificing. Men cannot do that one now. Unless why, you want to sterilize, and that's they, for life. Yeah, I heard the, I I so heard, that I heard one not that this, there is that's for that life. Actually, do it's sterilized, and that's for life. You can't be, you can't even pregnant. pregnant. You can't get exactly. a woman that's pregnant. That's the, the only, option, only option for them. For real, that's for the them. Option. But in terms of ladies, we have our own, you understand, that just within we a have a lot of metals. There are a lot of metals available to, to research on how we can make provision for men as well. So that you know, <laughs> we don't have to be only one taking all the risks, you know. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. still on, the, on it, on the question. So, mm-hmm. if you look at it, you see that um, talking about um, this issue of baby mamas, yeah. we actually forgot, we've forgotten our heritage our, our, heritage. our african mm-hmm. vestives yeah. you understand mm-hmm. if it's then like let me come from the african point of view now yeah they don't do this mm-hmm. before you even meet your husband maybe your, your father is the one that even introduced you to the man that wants to marry you that was that will even be the first day you even see the person mm-hmm. you understand yeah. once they get married to you you enter your home but yeah. now we are imitating this western people to say that we don't even know which is right, which is wrong. Once you say they'll be like that's how the white do. Yeah. Yeah, they colonize us quite all right, but mm-hmm. still that African culture is slowly going out. It's, it's going it's, away. It's going away, which is wrong. You understand? So if we should adapt, still hold on to our um, African system, yeah. I think um this issue of baby mama will reduce, will reduce by, drastically. Okay. All right, so, all right, all right. So um David actually said in his music, he said Call Anita, <laughs> make make them um call Anita. Mexico, Tell them say make she come. They go, go far away, <laughs> far so, away. So so I would I'm have to ask, at... do you guys think that this man actually wants to do away with this maybe with these ladies that they had flings with, or do you think that this man, do you think that when these men cheat on their partners? It means that they don't love them. No. Like, we'll go on a quick break right now. And when we return, we'll dive into that discussion. Hey there. Are you looking to record your videos? Do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further. With our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, kitchen for our food content creators, and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. Welcome back. Before we went on the break, I asked a question. I asked, what do you think that when these men cheat on their partners, is it a sign that they don't love them? What's your take on it, Kelsey? Um, you know this this popular saying that said, um, "Men shit, just be, it's not as if they, they love the person, but when a woman shit, the yeah, woman the is they're in love with the person. You understand? Men, that's why it's easier for a man to just get a person to have sex with the person and forget about it without so are any flinch." On that, are you saying that? No, I'm not David encouraging. Was, no, no, chill. Are you saying that David was telling Anita Brown, whom we have <laughs> rightly said that star. she was a porn star? That was the only thing you notice. No, no, exactly. <laughs> if you notice, even Anita said that when she got when she got pregnant, when she told David, he told he told her to remove the pregnancy, that he's willing to pay three million. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you see, you see that a man that you got pregnant for, and the person told you to remove it. It's actually sure that the person doesn't love you. <laughs> like, whether you, you're he saying, doesn't uh, you're, he, he doesn't, he's not yeah, even ready. He doesn't want the responsibility. He doesn't want, you know, that's yeah. what I used to tell people. Men, they say men are, men are easily um, gotten that. You just swave your, your waist and you see the man and all that. Mm-hmm. My dear, you can get a man easily, but getting to commit is very, very hard. You can't keep him. It's very, very hard. 
getting a man to commit. Men don't like the responsibility. Men they don't, don't like, like it. So when you see one, <laughs> um, oh, hold on, well. Hold on, well. Because it's very, very rare for you to see all these men. Men don't like responsibility. Mm -hmm. So when you see the one that is committed to you, that's okay. why even to you now, uh, David, don't mind do everything, do all these things. Because he, he knows the person he's married to. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for a man to leave his wife just to come and be with you. That's why you see all these side chick that are saying, uh, leave your, your wife, come yeah. to me. They might be promising you have <laughs> now. Once they come, they come to their senses. Yeah, that's so true. that's Absolutely. it. That, that's how men are. Okay, okay. I love what you said. You said men should, men don't like responsibility. They don't. Okay. Kosi, thank you. Thank you so much for those words of wisdom. Okay, um, I would love to hear from you, Georgina. We all know that it's not only David Doe that has baby mamas. We have Two Face, we have um, mm. who else? Yule, right? Mm. In fact, um, there's a post where, where, where I saw one lady call out her. Her, should I say her? No, baby you will say that you, you, you had a baby mama now. Because they actually married. got married. Got married. So it's a different thing. So it's a different thing. Oh, okay, okay. I think that, that, Judy, that Judy, she is really lucky. Because it's not, lucky? I mean, it's, she's <laughs> lucky. You know why I said she's lucky? <laughs> Because it's not every person, it's not every lady will be able to hold down you. You understand? Even okay. though, even though the the um no, she, she, because she came as a baby mama. Okay, if I yeah. can come, you understand? Okay. She came as a baby mama. Okay, can't that's the reason why I say she's lucky. In terms of some men, some men, even after calling them, if not for that this lover was one that called them out. So being an evil man, and you yeah, know evil people, evil. they know they like, and his father is also a prominent person. You understand? So it's because of it. That's, That's that is her luck. You understand? So because not every man that you call out like that and the person will just go and marry you. It's impossible. You Picking understand? up from what you just said, not every man that that what you call out like that. That you, just, you call out like I, that. I, I feel he did her he did his own because of But there are the, some men that are actually very family. homely. They love marriage a lot. Instead but of this them one to have your outside, no, that is different. They want to bring you into ladies, the house ladies, with your ladies, child, ladies, and then ladies, she ladies. was emphasizing on the person. Is that you're talking about the percentage like of that. men? No, there are I'm, saying, men no like I'm not that. saying men. I'm just calm talking down, about calm you. Down, you understand? Calm calm down, is that. There are men like that that has that orientation that instead of them to have you outside, but this one is different. There are some men. What we are talking about is about you, Edoche. Now, this one is different. Why? Because he, this, the Judy came as a baby mom. Yeah, yeah. Then it was when this lover called him out. That was when he quickly no, marry her. Marry her. You understand? On a low key. So his own is different. Different, different. Okay. Based on what you have just said, right? We all know that it's not every man that would want to marry a baby mama, right? Yeah. In fact, when this not, issue it's, it's happened very rare. with when this issue it's happened very rare. with David Doe, we we saw people dragging choma telling her that in fact that she if was, yeah that that she they, was a baby she, mama what do you expect that that yeah. before it, she was got married mm -hmm. so. negative that, consequences, of negative being a baby consequences. Mama. Mama. so so like we actually heard people say that they cannot marry somebody that has a child already that exactly. they cannot get it's married to hard. a woman that has a child it's already so based on that conception based on those ideologies Georgina, what do you think is the emotional challenges that these baby mamas face? One, and how do you think the baby mama culture affects their future romantic relationships? Well, so how does baby mama affect these women emotionally? Emotionally. Well, you know, women are emotional beings. <laughs> Generally, we That's are. That's true. So when we love, we love. Completely. Completely. We are not doing it um, sideways like the men would do. Now, we are moved by emotions. But men are moved by what they see while we are moved by our emotions. So we are more concerned about what you feel for us than, you know, your physical appearance or all that stuff. That's what interests us. So when what we're expecting to get from you is not being met, because after all, what made us to feel that for you was what we thought you had for us. Exactly. So when it gets to that point where you are now deviating or deflating from what the original who that we taught you to be and how you made us to feel, yeah. of course, we begin to feel 
emotional some emotional disorders you know pain you sadness think that it can lead to depression in, in fact, wrong. that's the first. That that is the that's first depressed. ingredient. That is the first consequences. It makes you get depressed, and depression is is bad. And it's depression it's is becoming it's a trend. Exactly. Depression, it's like that's how we even said the fastest means of killing someone. Yeah, that's true. It's that's becoming it. a trend. Like yeah. that's like the general um, norm now. It comes to, so depression is bad. So try as much as possible to stay away from me. And that's the reason why I encourage people don't get too deeply soaked in something that when it gets to some certain point you begin to feel some emotions that will lead you to your own death because of depression it's bad mm -hmm. and that's some of the things these women have done so because of this feeling you know what they do some of these women do so they can feel better they go on social media they begin to post so that people will feel that they are actually they are doing okay. well they are doing okay mm -hmm. go exactly. in total and see what these women are feeling they about are not happy them. about it they are not and the funny thing is when the issue of baby mark comes out into the world the women are the first ones to be dragged. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's yes. it. They drag you left, right, center, and eventually they will make Before it look like. remember the man. They will make it look like <laughs> you, you, you are no, originally the cause. You are the cause of it. You were, you, you were supposed to know better. You were supposed to be the wiser and. Kind of you are dealing with. Be guided. Know. As if you are the one that even impregnates yourself. But the bad news is. Do you this, think that this? Ladies, these women get dragged because they are because we are the gatekeepers of sex. Because we are the gatekeepers of sex. Mm. Are we the gatekeepers <laughs> of sex? Yes, we, we are the gatekeepers of sex. You know that if we tell a man no, no is no. If exactly. you if you tell a man I'm not having sex with you, nothing is gonna happen and no shit is gonna happen. Okay, how about so the ones that? We are the gatekeepers of sex. Okay, from that angle, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's say we are the gatekeepers of sex, but I don't necessarily think maybe that's the reason why they they drag them. But I, I think it's a cultural thing. It's I think it's more of a thing. It's a man's word. A man's, a man's word. word. But it's a exactly. man's word. And so everything okay. that goes wrong is the woman's fault. It goes <laughs> around. Okay. It goes around. Exactly. Like, exactly. I think yeah, it's right. coming from that angle. From so that not angle. really. So okay. but what this victim must have to understand is going on social media is not going to kill your depression. And you <laughs> <laughs> you go out there and then you're getting advice from people you don't know, faceless people. Who are telling you this Which is what advice some people what, what, even be cursing your talk no if you know what these people go through these baby mamas if you know what they go through you don't even wish to become one okay okay. okay i would i would i would love us I would, I would love us to talk about the children yeah. what impact does baby mama have on the well-being of a child and what is the role of parental involvement in the personal development of a child yeah. let's hear from you Godly. okay <clears throat> um on the issue of parental development of a child mm -hmm. you know when in a family whereby they don't have maybe there's no father it's just the mother that is there single parenting it really affects the child the child yeah it really affects the child in the sense that maybe a child will be in school Maybe her classmates will be like, my dad my did daddy this, my daddy did this, he did that, we went to vacation, all that. It's a child that's, that is just in, maybe that has a single parenting. Mm -hmm. It will really affect such child. Exactly. It will really affect such child in the sense that will be like, mom, maybe when he comes back from school, he'll be like, mom, where's my dad? Who's my dad? I would love to see my dad. Mm -hmm. My friends, they went on a vacation. When are we going to be? When are we going for a vacation? Like just like my friends. So it really affects the children. Yeah. So okay. For my, for me, um, single parenting or this baby mama stuff is is a no no to me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a no no. It's, it's not. It's not advisable. It's not advisable. It's not advisable. Okay. Let's Sophie, what effect do you think that? baby mama culture has on a child's well-being and what do you think is the role of parental involvement in the personal development of a child all right every child is important uh, every child has the balance of the family has the presence of the father has the presence of the okay, mother mom. because each parent has their own individual role outside the normal the father is supposed to provide for the family and the mother is supposed to feed the children and all that. Every parent has their own role, their own emotional role they play in the upbringing of their child. So they must be present to ensure that the child grows 
properly. Mm-hmm. Every child needs that balance. Yeah. They need to have issues that they can sit and discuss with their father. And they need to have the children face all those kind of challenges. Those like there are some challenges. I remember a few years ago, I think I I had an I had a tax, let me just call it, I had a tax in the office. I was supposed to prepare a spreadsheet on Excel and that was the first time I've heard about oh, doing oh, something, something like that. concerning spreadsheet and all that. So I had to I was like, who am I going to meet? Who am I going to meet? My mom, I remember oh my, my, God, my, mom, oh my <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Because I had those people with yeah. me. I had mm-hmm. them and I know that my dad was good at this and okay. my mom was good at this. So I had to run to my dad and I was like, I need help doing spreadsheet. Can you help me? And yeah. he helped me. And we kind of had this relationship. We talked. I told him the challenges I was experiencing at work. He talked to me. He even shared his own stories. And he was like, next time when you see something like this, handle it this way. I felt so relieved and I felt so safe. I felt so, so happy. Yeah. Children growing up, because children, they turn into adults. They okay. need safety. Their psychological well-being is very important. They need the safety. They need their parents, all of them present. They don't need to be in a family where they have these issues that the mom is... The mom is the only one taking care of the children. The father is just outside sending money. And the mom, mom has this grudge against the father. She's always complaining. You know all these women, when they are sharing their grudge on social media, they are also telling the child, see the, that your father, see him. Anytime you see him, he's an like, idiot. He's useless. Yeah. Like, all those kind of things. They don't need to hear it. Yeah. Exactly. Because it builds scars in their hearts. They start having this kind of impression about, about marriage. If it's a girl, yeah. she has this impression about men. She needs to be careful with men. She don't need to follow them. And when you see she grows up now, she has a chance to love, to show her own. She'll start following those principles that her mother has taught her. Mm-hmm. She'll start showing the guy the kind of unbalancedness that she grew up with. She'll start showing it in the guy. Yeah. So the both parents' presence is very important in every family. Every family. So this whole baby mama industry, baby mama culture, it's not advisable it's not because advisable. children need their both parents they need everybody in the house they need all hands on deck to build them okay so let us based on what you've said let's imagine that you had such problem and your dad was not there what would you have what would you have done and how would you have felt it would have really affected me because for starters my mom would have had to play the both roles she would have had to be the father and the mother and then when I need a mother, she won't be that present because she has to play the father. She has to go out and provide for me. Yeah. So it would have affected me a lot. Okay. So what advice would you give to baby mamas, to people that are venturing into these things? And what advice would you give to the society on baby mama culture? I've been saying it and I keep saying it. It's not good. It's not a good thing. It's not something we should imbibed in our society it's not our lifestyle it's not our culture we believe in marriage that's what we believe in we believe in the father we believe in the mother we believe in that institution we believe in marriage institution because sometimes you see women they say you see women that say um i don't want to get married but i want children i want to i want to build myself i want to be developed i want to have money i want to be rich then i'll have children on my own i don't need a man to take care of me Mm-hmm. And I don't support that kind of ideology. Yeah. It's very, very wrong. Because that child, if you're thinking about your child, that child needs a father. Mm-hmm. Of course. An apology to those that is not, is not their fault. Yeah. You know, sometimes a girl gets pregnant and the guy is not ready to take responsibility. Exactly. And she needs to stand up for everything. Yeah. So let me just apologize to them personally. We understand what they are going through. We understand that kind of thing. Yeah. But when is when you could do something to stop this thing from happening, you have to do it. Mm-hmm. So baby mama culture, baby mama ideology, whatever it's called, is not in our it's not our culture. Okay. We should stop it. All right. Ngozi, what's your advice? <laughs> My advice on baby mama issues is that our ladies Okay. If you know you can't control yourself, at least the protection, they say, they say prevention is better than cure. Mm-hmm. You know that, you know what the outcome will be, it's better you just protect it. It's better you, don't, you just avoid it in mm-hmm. total. Okay. 
So that's my advice to our ladies. Okay. Just avoid being in con getting in, that in contact with you already know that this guy, there is no there's no future between you and him. There's no you future. You are not too. going anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's better you just avoid everything. Okay. Georgina, what advice would you give to the people out there? Okay. So I mean we've all said it all. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So um baby mama lifestyle it's it's a no no. It's not it's not a space where you want to engage yourself in because in the long run you begin to feel the negative impact. And um, of course we just don't feel the negative impact individually because eventually we'll transfer it to our kids, our children, because you can't teach your kids outside of your culture. You can't teach them, you can't socialize them into a process that you are not aware of. So consciously and unconsciously you end up doing that. So um, it is wrong in every way. And so let's, for our parents out there, let's try to discipline our kids. Let's Let's teach them, make them understand, especially the Gen Zs, that, you know, it's not all that glitters that's gold. Baby mama's life might appear fancy, especially for those of them who are engaging in it because of the glamorous um, yeah. um, uh, material resources involved in all of that. So let's, let's just desist from it. Let's stay away, desist from it. Let's stay away from it. It's not good. And well, for societal development, like we said, like I said earlier, these yeah. are the future right so we wouldn't want them to go into the future with that mindset because obviously it would not yield any positive result for our society in the long run so no that's it okay Kofi, what's your advice to people out there you all said it all yeah what one word do you have just <laughs> inspire the people give us some inspiration Abby, um yeah me, i just feel like um family should always be the first institution for uh, socialization so i feel the family the that the parents should play an important role in this understand try to um inculcate that um good discipline into your kids you understand try to show them that this is the way and also we kids we try to we tend to learn more from our parents you understand especially the ladies the ladies tend to learn more from the mothers, you understand? Mm -hmm. So I feel as a parent, both the father and the mother, that they should try to set a good example to the kids so that once they grow up, they follow that way. Okay. So. All right. Thank you so much. I've learned a whole lot from this particular episode. And I believe that our viewers out there have, have, have learned a lot too. Remember I told you that you'll be inspired, you'll be educated and i hope that this transforms your life for me baby mama i don't subscribe to baby mama culture and personally i feel baby mama if you're venturing into these things you're 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 simply saying that you're encouraging incest because the possibility of these children that grew up with a single parent the chances of them meeting their siblings out there in some faraway country, mm -hmm. in some no, faraway country, far away. and not then just far away. Yeah. it's not just far away. Sometimes, mm -hmm. okay, just imagine a man like a lady after getting pregnant at, out of wedlock, then you get married to another person, then you give birth. Imagine most that. of most times, these kids they sleep together. Yeah. So let's just start from there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So just imagine that this child ends up meeting his or her sibling somewhere and eventually ends up falling in love and eventually they get married. What happens then? So please, please, let's stop baby mama culture. And to our uh, celebrities out there that are practicing these things, you claim you love your fans and yet you display irresponsibility. What does love mean to you? Remember that you have a generation that is following you and you are a role model do the right thing it all starts with you and to all as single moms out there who have done a fantastic job congratulations to you we love you we appreciate all you're doing we appreciate your strength we appreciate your determination we appreciate your ability to bring up a child single-handedly i mean shout out to people like erica's mom shout out to people like Barack Obama's mom, they did amazing jobs. So it's it's about time we close the curtains and call it a day. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for sticking with us. Don't forget to follow us on, our, on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, 
We are Taft TV on Instagram. We are Taft TV underscore NG. On Twitter, we are Taft TV underscore NG. On TikTok, we are Taft TV underscore NG. And of course, on YouTube, we are Taft TV. I'll say it again. On Facebook, we are Taft TV. On Instagram, we are Taft TV underscore NG. On Twitter, we are Taft TV underscore NG. On TikTok, Taft, Taft TV underscore NG. And of course, on YouTube, we are Taft TV. Thank you for staying with us. Bye-bye.